No matter where you are or what you're doing, objects are always in motion. Anything you are doing, there is nearly a force, even if it's just walking on the sidewalk. Sir Isaac Newton created three laws that explain the different forces. In 1686, Sir Isaac Newton published Book 1 of the Principia, which explains his three laws of motion. We still use these three laws to this day. And these are Newton's three laws. Newton's first law states that an object at rest will remain at rest until an unbalanced force acts on it. It also states that an object in motion will remain in motion until acted on by an outside unbalanced force. This law is also known as the law of inertia. In this clip, I am on a skateboard which is on a flat surface. When my dog, an unbalanced force, decides to pull me in the skateboard, he then creates a force to where I start to move. This is the first part of Newton's first law. Newton's second law states an object with more mass will require more of a force to accelerate, and objects with less of a mass will not need as much mass to accelerate. Come with me now. Come with me now. These clips are of my rowing team. The boat shown is called a double, which takes less of a force to accelerate because there is not as a much of a mass. The other boat is called a four. Since there is more mass in a four, it will take more force for the boat to accelerate. This is because of Newton's second law. I don't know why, I just feel I'm better off staying in the same room I was born in. Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal opposite reaction. When I jump on the trampoline, I create a force on the trampoline, and the trampoline forces back on me, which makes me go into the air and bounce. Waste all this time trying to get to me, but you are out of my mind. Yeah. Listen, I know. A contradiction because of how happy it sounds, but the lyrics are so down. 